good day to everyone uh, welcome to our subject engineering mathematics plus so this time we will be talking about the fundamental concepts of algebra so in this topic we discuss the uh, uh, real numbers exponents and radicals algebraic expressions uh, fractional expressions so fundamental meaning uh, basic no? so when it comes uh, from the word fundamental uh, this topic uh, is the to anta para okay about us uh, uh, basic uh, rules sa algebra para gamito na to na knowledge to go through other other kind of topics algebra para mas mahanas pa ta sa algebra okay so uh, as an introduction no? the word algebra higikan na siya sa uh, uh, libro na no? uh, uh, entitled Ilm Aljabar Wal Mukwabala. So I'm sorry about the pronunciation, pero it is written in the 9th century by the Arabian Mathematics Al Khwarizmi. Uh, okay. um, the title has been translated as the science of restoration and reduction, which means uh, transposing and combining similar terms of an equation. Okay, so in algebra. So we use symbols no? uh, or letters such as A, B, C, D, X, Y, and so on. No? So to denote arbitrary numbers. So this general nature of algebra is illustrated by the many formulas used in science and industry. So um, as we proceed through this subject no, and go on either to more advanced courses in mathematics or to fields that employ mathematics so you will be pardon, you will become more and more aware of the importance and the power of algebraic techniques uh, so any algebra subject if you meet me na to kaya no sa lalon ah labi na umabot na to mga theories na Ini sa kuan, kasi engineering no, mga major subjects na no? uh, di kumai kuan tara mag ah dekhan uh, na yung mga factions mag mag kuat tag values in certain ano then uh, variable so gamit siya tayo so, next is uh, real numbers so summoning real numbers uh, real numbers are used throughout mathematics so I should, as you should be acquainted with symbols that represent them such as um, 1, 73, so negative 5, 49 over 12, square root of 2, 0, cube root of negative 85, 0 0.3333, 5 minus 6.25 and so on so many mga examples of uh, real numbers and positive integers or natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 so many positive integers so positive siya wala yung negative na these are natural numbers ok the whole numbers or non-negative integers are the natural numbers combined with the number zero. So the integers are often listed as follows. So many integers, no? Negative four, negative three, negative uh, two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. So on the uh, if you are looking at the screen uh, at your left side, those are. Um, uh, negative integers and on the right side including zero the, those are the uh, positive integers so uh, positive integers are also called uh, 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 natural numbers and uh, those one uh, those numbers negative 4 to 4 and so on uh, it's uh, those are called integers. 
So, um, so uh, throughout this course, no, or this subject, uh, or this class, uh, lowercase letters, or A, B, C, X, Y, uh, represent arbitrary real numbers, or uh, uh, these are also called uh, variables. So, if we say arbitrary real numbers, uh, it's a of uh, variables. So, if A, if A and B okay, so if A, B C, X or Y and so on um, rep uh, represent arbitrary real number uh, uh, sorry sorry if A and B uh, denote the same real number so we write Okay, parihans ya. A is equals to B. So, which is red. A is equals to B. And is called equality. So, the notation A equals, uh, A is not equal to B. <laughs> is read as uh, A is not equal to B. So, this is the sign of not equal. Not equal the equal sign nga na ay slash so that is read as a is not equal to b ok so if a b and c are integers and c is equals to a b then a and b are factors or divisors of c ok so, for example, uh, uh, since 6 is equals to 2 times, uh, is also equal to 2 times 3, or 6 is also equal to negative 2 times negative 3. Okay, multiplication of negative signs are positive. No? And it is also equal to uh, 1 times 6, uh, or is also equal to negative 1 times negative 6. So, uh, so we know that kaning uh, mga numbers 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, and 6. And negative 6 are factors of 6. So, a positive integer, p, uh, different from 1, is prime of its only positive factors. So, r, 1, and p. Okay. So, a positive integer, p, different from 1, is prime of its only positive factors, r, 1, and uh, p. So, Eh, pasabot ani if natay certain number no. Uh, if ang ang factors ana niya is only x times 1 or in this case p times 1. So, ang kaning x or p nga uh, maorag yung kailangan uh, ma, ma gama na to factor these are called prime numbers so uh, the first few prime numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 so prime numbers uh, ang factors ani is kung ano so umuntay example sa 2 umuntay laing pwede i-multiply sa 2 para ma-equal sa 2 so only 1 also with 3 o muntay laing ma-multiply sa 3 para ma ang makuha na ito ang number sa 3 so only 1 uh, so factor sa 3 is only 3 times 1 um, and also with 2 is equals to uh, 2 times 1 
and also with 5 no? uh, 2 although 5 is equals to uh, 2.5 times 2 uh, but we are talking with uh, prime numbers as a, paano, and a whole number no? so this is not a whole number no? so pero, uh, factors niya na whole numbers is only 5 times 1 okay so the so let us erase this one yeah. okay so the fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, states that every positive integer different from 1 can be expressed as a product of primes in one and only one way except for other order of factors. So, uh, sample to that is <coughs> Twelve is equals to two times two times three. So, meaning uh, uh, so is and twelve is pwede mo na siya ma two times six no. Then ang six so factor pag yun nato ito two times three. So. Uh, every positive integer uh, different from 1 can be expressed as a product of uh, primes in one and only one way <coughs> so um, 12 um, uh, my express na to ito product of primes no so these are prime numbers 2 times 2 times 3 so 2 is a prime number and also 3 so as for 126 no? 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 540 equals 2 times 2 times 3 and so on so these are some uh, many explanations uh, fundamental theorem of uh, arithmetic so next we will be talking about a rational number a rational number is a real number that can be expressed in the form of A over B, where A and B are integers, and B should not be equal to 0. So, to man in niya, okay, sa calculator, if any number divided by 0 is undefined as A. Okay, so let us continue. So note that every integer a is a rational number since it can be expressed in the form of a over 1. So any number uh, <coughs> uh, divided by 1 is one, uh, equal to that number <coughs> and every real number can be expressed as a decimal uh, and the decimal representations for uh, rational numbers are either terminating or non-terminating and repeating okay. sample to that is uh, 5 over 4 is equal to 1.25 so many example of uh, 
uh, terminating ka ng pag-abot sa 5, meaning divide ni mo sa 5 over 4, mo stop na siya, 0 na na siya. Kung non-terminating is equals to, uh, example to that is, kanina ka number 177 over over 1. Uh, 55, so non-terminating, magpadayon ni siya, and repeating, uh, magpadayon niya ni siya, 1818181818. Okay? So, morning nga daw, where the digits 1 and 8 in the uh, representation of 177 over 55 is repeated indefinitely, no? So, sometimes written as uh, 3.1 bar 18. Uh, this bar represents uh, nagbalik-balik na siya. Is, this one, it is non-terminating and repeated. So, real numbers that are not uh, rational are irrational numbers. So, kanang dili na ito ma-express into uh, rational form ba? Dili na ito ma-express into A over B. So, those are, kanang A over B is rational man. Kung dili na ito ma-express o A over B. So, those are irrational numbers. So, decimal representations of irrational numbers are always non-terminating and non-repeating so non-terminating uh, and non-repeating is uh, ano siya uh, uh, parehaan ni eh, pero dili magbalik-balik ang kaya one eight one eight bisa kung saan number ang mo sumpay niya ba so non-terminating and non-repeating non-repeating so, so one common irrational number denoted by pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter so we sometimes use the uh, notation pi is close to 3.1416 to indicate that pi is approximately equal to 3.1416 so uh, the, comma, uh, the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter no? Kay, uh, <coughs> so, conference is one mana. Circumference is ano kana kana unatay circle no? mo ni ang length sa yung circumference niya diameter niya is ano diameter niya so pi is the ratio of the one circumference of a circle to its diameter. So, um, okay, uh, formula sa uh, circumference, circumference of a circle is equals to 2 pi r, 2 pi r, no? then uh, i extract to ang pi is equals to uh, c over 2 times r so kaning 2r this is equal to the no, radius is equal to diameter man so pi is the ratio of its uh, circumference to its uh, diameter so this value of pi is equal to 3.1416 and so on uh, to approximate the value of pi pero kaning pi napang kaning mga sumpay no so, sumpay ano niya is uh, non-terminating and non-repeating. So, 
<coughs> yeah, uh, some ano, pampalibog na pero there is no rational number B such a, such that B squared is equal to 2. Uh, so, B squared uh, denotes B times B. However, um, there is no irrational number denoted by square root of 2 such that uh, square root of 2 squared is equal to 2. <coughs> so, there is no rational number B such that B squared is equal to 2. So, wat wala yung rational number nga mahulip na to aning B nga ma-equal nga square na to equal to 2. Pero, na ay irrational number no? Irrational number nga ma-denote na to into uh, nga ma-denote na to o nga square root of 2 siya para ma-satisfy ni siya nga equation. So, square root of 2 squared, makancel man ni ang uh, is this equal to 2 so the system of real numbers uh, consists of all rational and irrational numbers so starting from here are the types of numbers used in algebra from complex numbers uh, to real numbers uh, real numbers are composed of rational numbers and irrational numbers uh, the rational numbers are composed of integers. Then, integers are divided into uh, negative integers and positive integers. And in between of that is the zero. Okay, so. Uh, in this diagram, no, relationships among the types of numbers used in algebra are illustrated. So, the real numbers are uh, close relative to the operation of addition denoted by plus. So, that is, to every pair A, B of real numbers, uh, there corresponds exactly one real number, A plus B, called the sum of A and B. So, the real numbers are also close relative to multiplication, so denoted by that uh, the dot sign of uh, that sign sorry. so that is to every pair a uh, b of real numbers there corresponds exactly one real number a times b also denoted by a b called the product of a and b so properties of real numbers uh, um The important properties of addition and multiplication of real numbers are listed in the uh, following chart. So, addition is uh, commutative. So, nagyan mo na nato pag high school. Uh, a plus B, in general case, A plus B is equals to B plus A. So, meaning order is immaterial when adding two numbers. So, it doesn't matter ang order niya, basta mag-add uh, ka number then addition is associative so A plus the quantity B plus C is also equal to uh, the quantity A plus B plus C so grouping is immaterial when adding three numbers so delete uh, it doesn't matter no, ang order kung mag-add tao uh, uh, I mean, uh, grouping is, it doesn't matter kung, mag, kung addition lang puro ang atong uh, uh, gigamit sa tulong ka number. So, zero is the additive identity. So, A plus zero is equals to A. So, adding zero to any number yields the same number. Negative A is the additive inverse or negative of a. So, A plus uh, the quantity negative A is equal to 0. So, adding a number and its negative yields to 0. So, multiplication is commutative. 
a times b is equals to b times a. So, order is immaterial when multiply into numbers. Multiplication is associative. a times the quantity b c is equal to a times the quantity a times b times uh, c. So, grouping is immaterial when multiplying three numbers. One is the multiplicative identity. So, a times 1 is equal to a. So, multiplying any number by 1 yields the same number. If a is not equal to 0, then 1 over a is the multiplicative inverse of reciprocal uh, or reciprocal of a. So, <coughs> a times the general case, so a times the quantity 1 over a is equal to 1. So, multiplying, uh, multiplying a non-zero number by its reciprocal yields uh, 1. Uh, reciprocal, kay sabot, ang hihano ka ng bali niya. So, equal to 1. Then, multiplication is distributive over addition. So, a uh, times the quantity b plus c is equal to a b plus a c and a plus b times c is equal to a c plus b c it means uh, multiplying a number and if sum of two numbers is equivalent to uh, multiplying each of the two numbers by the number and then adding the products so distributed no it types na to times no na to una ani then ang result is it type is i add na to sa atong i times na kon ani so distributed ang a gi distribute na to sa quantity ani then atong gi add ang ilang product <laughs> since a plus uh, b plus c and a plus b plus c are always equal we may use a plus b plus c to denote this real number so we use a b c for either a times b c or a b times c similarly in four more or more real numbers a b c d are added or multiplied we may write it a plus b plus c plus d for the sum and a b c d for the product so, regardless of how the numbers are, grouped or interchanged. So, um, the distributive uh, properties are useful for finding products of many types of expressions involving sums. Uh, the next is, uh, this example provides an illustration of the example at all. So, using distributive properties, if P, Q, R, and S uh, denote real numbers <coughs> show that uh, P plus Q times R plus S is equals to P R P S plus Q R plus Q S so when <coughs> using the distributive property uh, sa preceding chart no? uh, kanin, number 9 Number nine. Okay. Also in your handouts. Eh? So, it distribute na to una ni P. There is a R. Types ito sa R. Then S. The next Q. Distributive na to sa R. I multiply na to. And S. Then, tanang, tanang. Wala na. Na result na is. Atong E add. So, first, uh, <coughs> so, mana siya? P times R plus S plus Q times R plus S. So, uh, una is, uh, kani, it, atong gi, multiply aning, uh, the equation then plus kanina pong q i multiply na to sa r plus s then ato na pong i-distribute uh, 
And then, ang mga product ni ni la uh, muna siya mga answer, no? P, PR plus PS plus QR plus QS. Then, uh, addition naman ang tanan. So, pwede ra makuha nila itong uh, parenthesis, no? Quantity nga. One. Sign. So, this is also uh, na na show na to na uh, P plus Q times Q plus uh, I mean times R plus S is also equal to PR plus PS plus QR plus QS so the following are basic properties of equality uh, ok so um, properties of equality if A is equal to B and C is any real number then A plus C is equal to B plus C okay. if A is equal to B man, meaning pareha ka number ang A o B so kung ada na to ng A o quantity nga C or value or variable nga C or number C then A plus C kung ada na to ang A I mean, ada na to ang A o C kunya na, na may statement nga A is equal to B so equal ra na siya sa B nga adong atong ada o any number C okay or <laughs> or this is the case for addition, no? Pero, ang um, A, ato ganing multiplyan o number C, equal na po na siya sa B, ang atong gi multiplyan sa number uh, C. Okay? Equal na maning A o B. Okay, so, prop The properties 1 and 2, no? Kaninga property? 1 and 2. Uh, state that the same number may be added to both sides of an equality. And both sides of an equality uh, may be multiplied by the same number. So, we will use these properties. So, extensively, no? Throughout the, our, our uh, class to help find solutions of equations so next is products involving zero uh, the first property is a times zero is equal to zero so for every real number a so next is if a b is equal to zero then either a is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0. Okay, any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 man. Diba? So, uh, when we use the word or as we do in uh, 2, coming to 2, uh, we mean that at least uh, one of the factors A and B is equal to 0. So, Motay, kuhanya, no? any number uh, any if a b is also zero then any of this any of this a or b is equal to zero or they could also be both uh, zero no? uh, zero times zero is also zero next is properties of negative so <coughs> A number, a, a negative number multiplied by a negative is equal to positive. So, an illustration to that is a negative 3 multiply na to a negative is equal to uh, 3. Okay? So, next is a negative number multiplied by a positive number is equal to a, the negative of the product of that uh, both uh, numbers <laughs> or equal to pwede na po nga 
A is equals to negative B. So, an illustration to that is a negative 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to the negative of the product of 2 times 3 or also equal to 2 times negative 3. The third property is a 2 negative uh, numbers multiplied is equal to the product is positive and example is negative 2 times negative 3 is also equal to 2 times 2 then a negative negative 1 multiplied by a uh, positive number is equal to a negative number example negative 1 times 3 is equal to negative 3 then uh, remember that one of properties of negatives then mutation for uh, reciprocals uh, reciprocal is bilinear. so a if a is not equal to 0 then a uh, is 1 then a to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over a so, illustration to that is uh, 2 to the power negative 1 is equal to 1, one, oh, one half. So, 3 fourth to the uh, power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 3 fourth. So, 1 over 3 fourth is also equal to 4 thirds. So, yung rule na di ba kay 1 all over uh, 3 fourth mabali man eh so kani masaka mo na may equal to 4 uh, is ang uh, pasabot ani po niya is any number uh, nga mag kan bitaw ang power niya is a negative number so meaning kani siya denominator gani siya mo nang Kani, himo na itong denominator kanan 2. So, 1 over 2. Then, mawa na itong negative na exponent niya. Right. So, uh, note that if A is not equal to 0, then uh, A times uh, A times A to the uh, negative 1 is equal to A times Diba negative, may mong denominator ni 1 over 8 Then, cancel, cancel Then, this is just equal to 1 Okay Nagandaghan na tag na Paano? Sibutan na so, Next is Subtraction and division So, definition Um sa subtraction sa subtraction um, so it is defined as follows no so a minus b is equal to a plus uh, the negative of b okay distribute the total sign mahimo na siya negative so change the sign of the subtrahin and proceed to addition diba so to subtract the to subtract one number from another add the negative so 3 minus 7 is just equal to 3 plus the negative 7 then the next definition is uh, division a div uh, divided by b is also equal to a times the reciprocal diba? reciprocal of A over of B so uh, 1 over B so A is equals to A times B to the power negative 1 where B is not equal to 0 okay nga naman so may tabo kung B is equal to 0 so, A times B to the negative 1. So, iwan na ito nga 
b is equal to uh, 0 so a uh, times the 1 over b gano siya kay reciprocal uh, so b is equal to 0 so a times 1 over 0 so that is equal to a over uh, 0 so any number divided by 0 is undefined <laughs> so to divide one number by a non zero number multiply by the reciprocal so 3 divided by 7 is equal to 3 times 1 over 7 so it is also equal to 3 times and uh, the 7 to the negative 1 okay so we use either a over b for a a negative uh, divided by b and refer to as uh, a over b as the quotient of a and b or the fraction of uh, in the fraction A over B. Uh, the numbers A and B are the numerator and denominator respectively. And A of A over B. Since 0 has no multiplication inverse, so A over B is not defined if A, uh, B is equal to 0. That is, uh, division by 0 is not defined. So undefined as I have said. So, it is for this uh, reason no? for the real numbers are not close relative to uh, division. So, note that 1 uh, divided by b is equals to 1 over b. Then, is equals to b to the negative 1. If b is not equal to 0. Properties of quotient. Okay, so, dagan no? The first property, a over b. Uh, so these following quotients uh, properties of quotients so are true provided all denominators are non-zero real numbers so these are all true except no dapat uh, denominators are not equal to uh, zero so first property uh, 1 uh, a over b is equals to c over d if a d is equals to uh, B C. Okay, so example illustration two of two fifth is equals to uh, six over uh, fifteen, right? uh, Because uh, two times fifteen is equals to uh, thirty. Then five times sixteen equals to ah uh, five times six rather is equals to thirty. Then Next property, AD over BD is equals to A over B. Okay, uh, same variable, makancel na to. And this is AD over D is equals to 1. So, it's equal to A over B. So, two is a illustration, 2 times 3 over 5 times 3 uh, is equals to 2 feet. The next property, A over the negative of B is equals to the negative of a over b or also equal to the negative of a b a over b so illustration illustration 2 fifth 2 over negative 5 is equal to negative 2 over 5 or equal to negative 2 fifth property number 4 a over b is equals to c over b is equals to a plus C all over B. So, <coughs> so same denominator man na siya. So, pwede matapo na to siya. Then, numerator is proceed to the addition sign. Okay? So, 2 fifth plus 9 fifth is equals to 2 plus 9 over 5 or equal to 11 over 5. Then, A over B plus C over D is equals to AD plus BC over BD. 
So, ang role, ana, di ba? So, it, it could still remember sa itong elementary, di ba? Uh, atong gam ang denominators gamon atong factors no then atong i ah uh, ato siyang i divide sa uh, first fraction uh, denominators atong ang product ani nila atong i divide sa uh, um, uh, denominator then ang uh, result atong i multiply sa numerator kung balik ko no ang, ang fraction gani atong i uh, ang product ang product sa denominator atong dividend sa denominator then i multiply na to sa numerator so mo ni result no a bd divided by B is equals to D then times A so equal to AD then BD divided by D is equals to B times C so BC so AD plus BC over BD so if negative if minus ni same lagi like upon pero minus ang atong gamiton also with property number 4 no if minus ni minus pa atong gamiton so, illustration, 2 fifth plus 4 thirds is equals to 2 times 3 plus 5 times 4 over 5 times 3 is equals to 26 over 15. The sixth property is A over B times C over D is equals to AC over BD. These are well, cross multiplied. No? Adil Sorry, sorry. Adil multiplication of multiplication of factors. Kan, eh? Uh, I mean of quotients uh, I multiply na to ang numerator I multiply po na to ang denominator so this is equal to AC over BD uh, illustration 2 fifth times 7 thirds is equals to 2 times 7 over 5 times 3 is equals to 14 over 15 and the last uh, property of quotient is the uh, uh, one. division uh? A, B, A over B divided by C over D is equals to A over B uh, times the Hemosha multiplication. No? Then, ang second is atong balihon. Bahimong D over C. So, then proceed to multiplication in times na to ang numerator si times po na denominator. So, illustration 2 fifth uh, divided by 7 third is equals to 2 fifth times. 37 this is equal to 6 times uh, 6 over 35 so always remember this properties gamit kayo na no especially if we're dealing with a lot of variables okay <coughs> so real numbers uh, may be represented by points on a line L such that uh, to each real number A to each real number A uh, this is a variable A no? <coughs> uh, there corresponds exactly one point on line L and to each point P on L on line L uh, so there corresponds one real number so this is called a one to one correspondence. So we first choose an arbitrary point zero or call the origin and associate with it the real number zero. So points associated with the integers are then determined by laying of successive line segments of each length uh, on either side of zero. So as illustrated in this figure. Okay. So the real numbers no? Kaneng kaneng mga values kaneng Ana ana These are real numbers kaneng um, uh, May be represented by points on a uh, line L This is our Kanesha This is our line L and I are line L uh, 
such that to each real number a, this could be real number a, real number a, uh, there corresponds exactly one point on L, line L. To each point P on L. So, um, in this illustration, um, the number A that is associated with a uh, point uh, A, uh, big letter A, no? A, ano? So, ang um, uh, capital A is nag-name ni siya sa point. Then, kaning A is the value or distance ni siya. Pwede distance from origin or any real number. Ano. <coughs> so, we refer to this coordinate, uh, coordinates as a coordinate system. And call L a coordinate line or a real line. So, a direction can be assigned to line L by taking the positive direction to the right so to the right is a positive direction and on the opposite left side is the negative direction so the positive direction is denoted by placing an arrow head on L okay. so note the difference between a negative real number and a negative of a real number in so in particular no the negative of a real number a can be positive for example if a is negative then say a is equal to a negative three then the negative of a is negative a is equal to the negative of negative three is equals to three which is positive. In general, we have the following relationships. No? Uh, relationship between A and negative A. So, if A is positive, then negative A is negative. So, if A is uh, negative, then negative A is positive. So, if A is a positive, then then negative a okay ang a is a positive man so this is also equal to negative a pero if a is negative then if a is negative then uh, negative a a is negative man negative is equals to multiplication of two negatives is positive Okay, so greater than or less than. <laughs> so notation A is greater than B. The definition is A minus B is positive. So A minus B is positive. Okay, A is greater than B. Man. Terminology A is greater than B. So if the notation is a is, neg a is less than b, then a minus b is negative. A is less than b. Okay, so referring to this one, uh, we have no. So we have an uh, illustrations here. greater than and less than uh, 5 is greater than 3 since 5 minus 2 uh, minus 3 is equals to 2 and is positive so negative 6 is less than negative 2 since uh, since sorry since negative 6 minus the negative 2 is equals to uh, negative 6 plus 2 is equal to uh, negative 4 so is negative uh, 
from um, so the cutting illustrations is go um, um, sakto ni nga sakto ni siya nga expression kay if atong i i subtract ng first term sa atong second nga number first number sa atong second nga number kung ang answer gani gani is positive then the first number is greater than 3 pero unlike sa second uh, expression negative 6 atong i-minus sa sa negative 2 so negative See six minus the negative two. The answer is one negative man. So therefore, less than as yeah. The first number is less than the mm, second number. So 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 on with the other illustrations. Okay. So the next law na to his gutan it enables us to compare or order any uh, two real numbers okay uh, first law is the trichotomy law so if a and and b are real numbers then exactly one of the following is true a is close to b then a is greater than b or a is less than b <coughs> So we refer to the sign of a real number as a positive if the number is a positive or negative if the number is negative. So two real numbers have the same sign if both are positive or both are negative. So the numbers have opposite signs if one is positive and the other is negative. So the following results about the signs of products and quotients of two real numbers A and B can be proved using properties of negative quotients. No. So the laws of signs if A and B have the same sign then A times B and A over B are positive. If A and B have opposite signs then A, B, and A over B are negative. So, the converses of the laws of science are also true. No? For example, if a quotient is negative, then the numerator and denominator has or have opposite uh, signs. So, the notation A is greater or equal than B uh, is, uh, this notation is read as a, a is greater than or equal to B means that either A is equal to B or A is equal to uh, B but not both okay so for example a squared is greater or equal to zero. For every real number A, the symbol A, uh, for example, uh, A squared is greater or equal to zero for every real number A. So the symbol A negative or equal to B, which is called A is less than or equal to B, means that either a is less than B or A is equals to B. So expressions of the form A uh, greater or equal to B and A less or equal to B are called uh, non-strict inequalities. So non-strict inequalities, so it could be equal or, or not. Huh? Uh, since A may be equal to B as with the equality symbol so we may negate 
any inequality symbol by putting a slash uh, through it. Uh, that is uh, uh, the sign. Uh, it means not greater than an expression of a form a is less than b and b is less than c is called a continued inequality and means that both a less than b and b less than c we say b is between a and c uh, similarly the expression c greater than b and then b is greater than a means that both c is greater than b and b is greater than a so we have an illustration here uh, the ordering three real numbers uh, one is less than five then five is less than eleven over two by five point five minus here then um, 84 is less than two thirds then le uh, two thirds is less than square root of uh, two then three is greater than negative six then negative six is greater than um, negative ten so there are other types of inequalities no? for example a is less than b but b is less than or equal to c means both a is uh, less than b and b is less or equal to c similarly a is less or equal to b then b is less than c means both a is less than or equal to b and b less than c so finally a uh, less or equal to b then b is less or equal to c means both a less than uh, a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c so an example of determining the sign of a real number so if x is greater than zero and y is less than zero determine the sign of x over y and plus y over x so it's a solution a solution uh, since x is a positive number and okay, greater than zero man so the initial ma negative and y is a negative number okay, y is less than zero man so going back to the line so zero so this is positive negative so these are all less than zero then only greater than zero so positive negative so thus both x over y and y over x are negative. Yan naman. Pwede man parihag sign ang x y. So, so, the sum of the negative numbers is the is a negative number. So, the sign of x over y plus y over x is negative. So, ato, ato, ano niya? Uh, x is positive man over a negative. Then, plus negative over positive is equals to takaiba no? so kaning uh, quotient ay eh, di man siya parihag uh, di man siya pariha o kanang sign so this is a negative no? plus the uh, same uh, situation so negative po siya so addition of negative is equals to negative so x over y is plus y over x is equal to negative next is definition of absolute value so the absolute value of a real number a denoted by bar confined as a a is defined as follows if a is greater or equal than zero greater or equal than zero this is so this is this could be positive no? so then the absolute value of a is equals to a and then if a is less than zero so 
then the absolute value of a is a uh, one negative a negative yun siya kaya less than zero so an illustration no? the absolute value of three uh, of three is equals to three since uh, three is greater than three the absolute value of negative three is equals to uh, uh, negative times uh, negative three since uh, negative three is less than zero thus the absolute value of negative three is three how about <coughs> Uh, the absolute value of 2 minus the square root of 2 then uh, is equals to 2 uh, minus the square root of 2 since 2 minus square root of 2 is equals to uh, 0 maliho na to uh, the absolute value of square root of 2 minus 2 is equals to uh, the negative of the value of square root of 2 minus 2 since uh, square root of 2 minus 2 is less than 0. So, kung less than 0, gani ang term ang isasot, i-multiply na ni mo negative. If uh, positive is uh, if greater than 0, then um, multiply na ni mo siya of positive. And also with this one, So, balik ka sa ikaw pati yung session. So, square root of 2 minus 2 is the absolute value of square root of 2 minus 2 uh, is plus to negative of uh, the value of square root of 2 minus 2. Since square root of 2 minus 2 is less than 0, thus the square root of the absolute value of square root of 2 minus 2 is equals to we distribute the minimum negative sign on that distributed so carrying 2 and a minimum positive so money share then carry square root of 2 minimum negative so in the preceding illustration uh, the absolute value of 3 is equals to neg the absolute value of neg negative 3 and the absolute value of 2 minus square root of 2 is equals to the absolute value of square root of 2 uh, minus 2. So in general we have the following. The absolute value of A is also equal to the absolute value of negative A for every real number A. For example, uh, removing an absolute value symbol. So if uh, if x is less than 1, so re re rewrite uh, the absolute value of x uh, minus 1 without using the absolute symbol value. So solution, if x is less than 1, then x minus 1 is, is less than uh, 0. That is... Uh, x minus 1 is negative. Hence, by part 2, the de definition of absolute number itong ano yun? So, the if a is less than 0, then the absolute value of a is the negative of a so x minus 1 the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to the negative of x minus 1 this is equal to negative x plus 1 equal to 1 minus x uh, definition of the distance 
between points on a coordinate line okay so happy to tabo naman sa first part so let a sa real numbers na so let a and b be coordinates of two points a and b respectively on a coordinate line so the distance between a and b denoted by b uh, a and b is defined by uh, the distance uh, the absolute value of b minus a so katong absolute value magamit dito mag kuantag distance distance no so the number uh, distance a between a points a and b so mali ang a yung b no? Nara. is the length of the line segment ab so line segment this is the line l so line segment part of that line mo na ipasabot ang line segment okay <coughs> since the distance b to a b and a is equals to the absolute value a b so kaning a b real numbers kanina a b points sa uh, line and b minus a is equals to uh, the absolute value of a minus b so we see that the distance from point a and b is just equal to the distance from point b to a so parehara magyan na no so, dinhi mo, mo, mo travel ka from point A to B is parehara siya distance from mo travel ka from point A to B so note that distance between the origin and the point A is distance O then A then that is equal to the absolute value of A minus 0 then is equal to the absolute value of a so we have an example now finding distances between points uh, let um, uh, a b c and d have coordinates negative 5 um, negative 3 1 and 6 respectively on a coordinate line so as shown in the figure no? so find the distance between a and b so distance ani then the distance between uh, c and d and the distance from the point of origin to point a so first is a to b then next is from s sorry sorry uh, i'm not the one okay uh, the next is from C to uh, B then uh, 0 to A origin to A and the distance C to uh, D ok so ito pang itaon na no? so the solution using definitions of, of the distance between points and a coordinate line um, we obtain the distances the distance between a and b is equals to the absolute value of uh, a a to b man so so the distance from one point b the absolute uh, value of the point B Malaysia minus ni mo sa imong gigikanan nga point A minus ni mo sa point A so A is negative 5 so this uh, that is equal to the ano, absolute value of negative 3 plus 5 equal to 2 so the distance A to B is equal to 2 also with the distance from uh, C to B meaning ang um, giabta ni mga value point B 
Minusan ni mo sa value sa Gigi kanan ni mo Then Equal to the absolute value Of that one uh, Expression Then Oh may distance yun yun Negative no Ang, ang magpilay distance from uh, Tagbilaran to bakla yun ah, Mga negative 15 kilometers siguro Nabada yun nga na wala man So if we are talking about distances So absolute value yun yun Positive uh, Absolute value it doesn't matter if negative or positive na. So the distance from Point of origin To A So to A So ang um, value sa A minus na to sa origin 0 is equal to the absolute value of the the answer no? then equal to 5 so the distance from origin to A is 5 and then the distance from C to D so the value of D minus na mo sa C then the absolute value of 5 so equals to 5 ok So, yan na kaya na. Uh, scientific form. A is equals to C times 10 to the power N. Well, A, where 1 is less than or equal to C, then C is less than 10, and N is an integer. So, the distance array of light travels in one year is approximately uh, this na. Uh, thousand million billion uh, trillion so somebody say next to trillion no? so this number may be written in scientific form as 5.9 times 10 to the power 12 so 5.9 times 10 to the power 12 so the positive exponent 12 indicates that the decimal point should be moved Broad place to the right, so the notation works equally well for small numbers. So the weight of an oxygen molecule is estimated to be uh, 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
um, with that, I am leaving you an activity. No? Um, so, activity one. So, uh, this will be one of uh, submitted together with one of our quiz number one. So, ang siri ni ninyo, ihuwat uh, lang sa nga mag quiz number one ta. Kay yapin to ninyo o attach sa Google Form. So, activity 1 is write your solutions and answers in a short one paper, no? So, write your name in this format, De La Cruz 1P. So, scan and convert to PDF file. Attach it to the form provided in the Google Classroom. Okay, so, first part is, if X is less than 0 and Y is greater than 0, determine the sign of the real numbers. Okay, so, inside sign, ano siya, ano nga mga expressions. Then, next is express the statement as an inequality so x is negative and i express me in the you know I, I, I express the statement as an inequality then uh, last is you rewrite the expression without using the absolute value symbol and simplify the result okay the, there are what, 15 items for you to exercise so um, practice practice for your activity number one so that's all and uh, have a good day then